Hi, welcome to the part 28 of this video series. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We are looking at real certification questions. Same or similar questions will come in the exam. Please focus on the concepts. There is this whole playlist on various certification topics, but you can refer this new AZ900. This is a playlist. It will cover all the latest questions. There is one more playlist. It is an old one, but the questions are still relevant. The concepts are still relevant. See, in this question, we are talking about a service which we should use to store the certificates. Now, which certificates are we talking about? We are not talking about your marriage certificate. We are not talking about your birth certificate. We are talking about a certificate which is used for encryption. Okay. Suppose this box is your cloud space. You have a storage service, blob storage. And you have a VM. Any communication from here till here or from here till here it should be encrypted in the industry it is encrypted using TLS certificates or TLS protocols now these certificates you need to store somewhere so that storage common sense says that the storage is key vault it is a service which is used to safeguard cryptographic keys and other secrets. When I mean other secrets, it can also be passwords, it can be certificates as well. But let's look at other options. Security Center is now called Defender for Cloud. It is used for security posture management and threat protection it will not store your certificates for storing the certificates think like you have a birth certificate very important original certificate would you place it anywhere like would you place it in azure blob storage if it is so important or would you put it in a key vault in your personal life you would put it in a locker locked so that you don't lose these certificates a is wrong this question is not about security posture like i explained you would not store important things in a storage account like blobs file shares and so on you want something which is more secured which is key vault option D is wrong as well the main purpose is suppose you have some statements financial statements in your blob storage so and now you don't know which ones have social security numbers on those documents or credit card numbers on those documents so you have a service called information protection it would just run through all the documents and classify that discover and classify that hey you know what these five documents they have references to credit card numbers which you should double protect it and then we might go ahead and use encryption at rest to protect it but information protection will not help you with storage of certificates now here the question asks about network traffic filtering see whenever we are talking about filtering it should be firewall NSGs also help with that but the difference is firewall can do filtering in bulk okay and NSGs you will have to configure it one at a time when the question is saying that you have to do it 
across multiple subscriptions and multiple virtual networks that means we have to use firewall so i have also listed why b c and d are wrong okay so d i have already explained it does the filtering one at a time ddos if you see ddos it defends against ddos attacks like sql injections for example you have a website and someone tries to deplete your resources like cpu storage how they will spawn so many threats and they will try to access the same website for example amazon.com they will spawn so many threats that it would give a perception that a million people have logged in at once and it will take away all the resources b is wrong because it will only extend network security it will not help you with filtering hence we would lock this answer let's look at the next question see this is a very straightforward question you have a vm okay this is a vm and you need to know when did you switch off this vm in the last 14 days common sense says you know if you have watched the serial cid in india you know the first thing police whenever they do investigation they try to check for evidences in our case if we have to do a cid kind of work we would first go to activity logs because think logically common sense what happened let's go to activity log and see what happened when the event hub is used with real-time integration with iot devices very different purpose it has no link with vm service health will give you a health of various services various vms and iam it will help you provide access controls to a certain service it will not give you if a vm was switched off okay let's look at the next one there are so many web servers and then there are so many database servers all needs to be put on azure You need to limit the number of connections from here till here. That means you only want people with secured access, secured IPs, vetted IPs to get it. For example, you have a chief minister's bungalow. Can anyone get in? No. There will be commandos and ZZ security forces who would so secure it and only access certain people for example certain is officers collectors income tax officers may visit it okay so what we do there is we have specialized access cards for these folks similarly here we nsg is our way of you know providing that access to authorize those people that only people who are approved through the nsgs can access this piece here okay so this is the answer but we should also look at why b c and d is wrong the first thing is service bus see anything you think the any name which has bus in it it is a message broker service it is used to decouple applications in a typical uh, microservices style application nothing to do with such requirements lan we already know it connects devices together in one location we do not have this kind of requirement the lan is already there you need 
so for example security is already there you need that security to only allow certain people into the chief minister's bungalow and a route filter it helps you list resources to be peered using microsoft peering this is my final answer let's look at the next question see here what is the requirement stating is you need to collect and automatically analyze security events sentinel is meant for this purpose it is scalable cloud native security information and event management system you can do security orchestration you can do automation and so on so you're looking for systems which collects that is collect and analyze and analyze and investigate but you know the bug doesn't stop here it will automatically respond to incidents rapidly let's look at why b c and d are wrong synapse is a high performance database we use it for analytics it is used to store data warehouse these are some key features why synapse should be used where you want a unified analytics platform an enterprise data warehousing solution you want hybrid data integration data lake exploration and so on ad connect you use when you want to sync your active directory which is on premises with your active directory which is on azure and key vault like we discussed in the first portion of this video it is used to store secrets so the secrets can be passwords can be certificates can be cryptographic keys as well so this is my answer please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like my videos i am putting a lot of effort and analysis into putting these contents for you there is a whole playlist on ac 900 there are two of them this one is the latest one but the old one is still relevant this brings us to the end of part 28 see you in the next part